Welcome back to the Snowflake Snow Pro Advanced Architect Certification in Depth Training Podcast with me, Yakub Abdul Hakim from Bright Flux, your guide on this journey. Today is episode 36, and we're delving deep into the realms of implementing single sign on SSO in Snowflake. This episode promises to be an enlightening dive into one of the critical aspects of managing secure access to your Snowflake environment. Implementing single sign-on or SSO is more than just adding a layer of convenience for users to access multiple applications with one set of credentials. It is a pivotal security strategy for businesses ensuring that data access is both secure and efficient As a certified Snowflake user, I can assure you, understanding SSO's intricacies is key to passing the certification exam and, more importantly, implementing a robust security framework for your organization. Let's start with the basics. Single sign-on SSO enables users to access multiple applications or systems with a single authentication process. This not only simplifies the login process for users, but also significantly enhances security by reducing the potential for password theft. Additionally, it eases the administrative burden of managing multiple credentials for accessing various platforms onto the nuts and bolts of implementing SSO in Snowflake. Snowflake supports various SSO methods, including SML 2.0 or OAuth, and OpenID Connect. Now, instead of merely enumerating these options, let's delve deeper into how they fundamentally differ and why one might be more suited to your organization's needs than others. Starting with SAML 2 2.0, it stands for Security Assertion Markup Language. This XML-based framework allows for the exchange of authentication and authorization data between an identity provider and a service provider. In the context of Snowflake, it means enabling users to authenticate through a centralized identity provider provider IDP, thus streamlining the login process and enhancing security. Furthermore, OAuth is another popular method for implementing SSO in Snowflake. Unlike SAML, OAuth is more focused on authorization rather than authentication. It enables applications to access resources from other applications on behalf of a user without sharing their credentials. This is particularly useful for scenarios where Snowflake needs to access data from other applications on behalf of the user. Lastly, OpenID Connect built on top of OAuth 2.0 adds an identity layer allowing clients to verify the identity of the user and obtain basic profile information in an interoperable and REST-like manner. This makes it a comprehensive option for SSO, combining both authentication and authorization aspects. Moreover, when implementing SSO in Snowflake, there are several critical steps and considerations to keep in mind. First and foremost is selecting the right SSO method that aligns with your organizational needs and security policies. Next is the configuration process, which involves setting up your chosen SSO solution to work Work seamlessly with Snowflake. This includes configuring your Snowflake account to trust your identity provider, mapping Snowflake roles to IDP groups, and ensuring users are provisioned correctly in both Snowflake and the IDP. Additionally, there are advanced features and considerations to be aware of. For example, enabling multi-factor authentication MFA with SSO can add an extra layer of security. Moreover, understanding the implications of role-based access control, RBC, in combination with SSO is crucial for designing a secure and efficient access policy. Finally, it's important not to overlook the testing and debugging phase of implementing SSO. 
This ensures that once SSO is in place, it operates smoothly and securely, providing a seamless experience for users and maintaining the integrity of your Snowflake environment. To sum up, implementing single sign-on in Snowflake requires careful planning, a deep understanding of the various SSO methods available, and thoughtful consideration of your organization's specific needs. Moreover, by attentively following the configuration steps and being mindful of the advanced features and considerations, you can ensure a secure, efficient, and user-friendly access management system. To all our listeners, I hope this episode has been insightful and has equipped you with the knowledge needed to ace your Snowflake certification exam. Stay tuned for more in-depth episodes as we continue to guide you through the Snowflake Snow Pro Advanced Architect certification journey. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, understanding the technology is the key to unlocking its potential. Until next time, this is Yakub Abdul-Hakim from Brightflux signing off.